this video I'm going to be showing you how I made this beautiful fall wreath. Okay, so to do this, I found this beautiful sign. I fell in love with that from the Dollar Tree. I have a square frame from the Dollar Tree. I have mesh from Hobby Lobby in their fall section and pipe cleaners to tie all this together and my handy dandy little <laughs> mesh roller cutter thingamajigger. Um, this basket I got from Dollar Tree and I, on, a, on a rotary cutter with a very sharp blade, not one you want to use for anything else, I assure you. But I just took this thing and I put a plastic ruler in front of it and I taped it with double-sided tape. And then you use dowel rods to poke through the little holes. Put that on wrong. You want it where it's coming out from the top. It, it does better that way for some reason. It'll roll better. So I slide one in the bottom and then I'll put the other one in the back up higher. Put the two together. Pull them under my little plastic ruler. And bam! This is the most awesome thing, and it's handy. Um, you just pull it to the end, and if you don't have this, you can cut it with scissors, but it does cut better with a rotary cutter, and I'm going to cut them bundles at 8 inches. I have a laundry basket down there. Y'all, I'm pitching these things in, and I'll pick them up later. I don't even care, but just 8 inches, 8 inches, and then, yeah. I have to do another one. Um, you can only do two in here at a time. So I did three and then if you want more and you want them closer together, you are welcome to do more. These are uh, pipe cleaners from Hobby Lobby. I get them in the Christmas section because they're cheaper. Cut them in half and then I've got ribbon and I am going to cut it one inch or one and a half, something like that, bigger than the width of the mesh. And I'm just going to fold it over a few times. You don't want to do it a lot of times because your ribbon pieces will come out bigger as you fold. So just fold a few and then cut them and then I'll dovetail the ends. But this took three to three and a half rolls from Hobby Lobby of mesh. And you would need at least six, if not eight or nine from the Dollar Tree in their mesh. I don't prefer the Dollar Tree mesh because it frays really, really bad. I would rather have the Hobby Lobby mesh. It's about the same price anyway. Um, so now that I have them, I'm going to cut my pipe cleaners. Now, I don't fold mine in half and cut them because it makes a burr on it that pokes in my finger. I just guesstimate and cut them in half. Now, this is this mesh tubing, and I want to make little bundles like this and I'm just going to take my ruler and I'm going to roll it around and there's three or four on each side. I don't even know what I just done. But anyways, just roll it. Uh, you don't want too many. And then I'm just going to put a pipe cleaner. Look at my granddaughter down there in my phone. I did not even realize that I was FaceTiming and she is on there. She's so stinking cute. But uh, sorry about that, y'all. Um, I'll realize it in a minute and move it, but that's when I said, oh my God, she's on YouTube. Uh, <laughs> it's, my daughter said it was okay. Um, but anyways, we're going to take and there's sections on this. So I want one of these in each section. Uh, the ones with the ribbon on it. It really doesn't matter when you do the, the one for your, where you're going to put your bow, whether it be top or bottom. You don't really need that. Uh, I wasn't thinking when I done it, so I just put it on there, but. I'm going on the outside because when I put my uh, square in there, I want to make sure I have room and not covering up all my mesh. So I am just putting this on the outside too and then twisting it together. And I am just going to alternate bundles until I fill up my uh, thing. And I know the squares on the sides took... A total of five bundles and then on the edges I think I did six three in each because I couldn't get it across that corner piece so that's what you're gonna do just alternate and then I'll put those other bundles in later but I'm just gonna alternate all of these back and forth until I fill up my wreath this is what it looks like when it's done and you might see your green pipe cleaners all you have to do is twist your little twirly things around until you cover those up and then you want to pull your ribbon up and out of all that mesh that mess mesh whatever you 
get it out of there. Now I have in my stash these pumpkins and they have clips on them. I got them at the Dollar Tree and I'm going to try to slide the clip under the uh, wire pipe cleaner and then glue it for, you know, just to be safe and make sure it sticks. Now these little frays will come out. You just got to pull them when you see them sticking out or you can cut them with scissors. But I did that to all four sides and then realized I need to add a bow so I did take one off um now I have my leaf stash I got a lot of stashes y'all but uh I got my leaf stash and I am just going to randomly glue and tuck leaves in there um I started gluing them on top and then I looked a little I mean I didn't look funny I do look funny but it looked funny but I pulled some off and started tucking them in the mesh rolls and that looked more you know I don't know it looked better and like it belonged in the wreath so now that I have that done I have got some of these glitter ones because the board has glitter on it so I'm gonna try to catch them so they don't roll away and I'm going to glue them in uh, some of the other little uh, ribbon pieces, ribbon spikes. I'll get it out here in a minute. And I'm just going to do this throughout the wreath. After I place those, I have these glitter balls, glitter table, not table, table scatter, bowl filler, bowl filler I think it is. I got them from Hobby Lobby last year. But I'm going to randomly place these little uh, glitter balls all over the wreath and um, you can do this before or after you put your uh, piece in but I'm just putting in all the colors because it matches somewhere and I'm just going to scatter them around and I do some before and after I put the middle in and we are now here and I am going to do my sign so even if I put this on my carport, it gets damp and these fall apart. So I gave it a couple coats of clear matte uh, sealer. Now I'm going to take my long pipe cleaners and I'm just going to tack them for right now. One going up and this will be the top. You have to put it this way to grab onto the wreath form. And then you have to do the bottom one the same way. And then I'm going to put two on the sides, but they have to go the other way to grab on to the wreath form. So I'm just tacking these with glue and then I'm going to take my household stapler and I'm going to put staples in on the edges of these pipe cleaners just to hold them on just to be extra. Now I'm going to be a little extra extra after I got the staples in and I'm going to use ribbon and cut off little strips and I'm going to hot glue this over the pipe cleaners. Um, I have used uh, popsicle sticks before as well but this is just what I had so I grabbed it and I'm putting them on and now I have it ready and I think it's secure I, f I feel good about it y'all I really do <laughs> and uh, make sure you put it the right way whether you're going to put your bow at the top or at the bottom like I'm supposed to so I had to flip it but I'm going to move the mesh a little bit now I don't want it sunk in you can Put it in the back, but I, I don't see what I want to see <laughs> that way, but you can. But uh, I'm just going to move some of these little rolls uh, up and tuck my um, board, plaque, wall sign, whatever you want to call it, down in there. And I'm going to use my mesh to cover up the uh, holes that was in that board. Once I get it tucked in, then I'll flip it over and... Um, I'm cutting these stupid little stringy things off. But anyways, I'll flip it over and then I'll take my pipe cleaner and I will secure this to the two. Uh, I did it on one, I think. Yeah, on the one inside ring that will hold it just fine.
As for the pipe cleaners, I always take them and push them under with my fingers so it don't scratch your glass or whatever. So once I get that done, I am going to go crazy with these little balls. Y'all probably don't need to see that, but, uh, cause I mean, you're just gluing balls on, okay? Just randomly gluing your balls on. So just, that's what I'm gonna be doing for a minute. Here it is, goodbye, time to do the bow. So I'm gonna take out these two ribbons and I got them at Dollar Tree. Well, I had three, but I didn't use that one because it did match, but it didn't look right with all the brown, so I didn't even use it. But these things are rolled so weird. Um, it kind of was, I don't know if it was better or worse, but anyways, it was rolled weird. So I'm just going to take this ribbon and I've got my bow maker. I'll try to remember to link that tutorial down below if you are interested in making one. But I'm just going to measure out a tail. I don't want a real long tail. Um, and then when I get that measured out, I am going to take the ribbon and this is one sided. So you're going to have to put it in and twist. And I think I did these at five, five inches. Put it in and twist, put it in and twist. You have to do this so that your print is on the upside and uh, not inside out, so to speak. So I'm just gonna do this until I have even numbers on each side. I think I did three on each side and then I just take my scissors and trim it off. You cannot do very much with these unless you have two rolls of ribbon because you don't get that much on a Dollar Tree spool. It's enough to do a good decent bow at five inches. So now I'm gonna take the other plaid ribbon, or the plaid ribbon, it ain't the other, it's the plaid ribbon. And I'm going to do the same thing, except I'm gonna go in a little shorter. This is my second attempt because the first one just failed and y'all don't need to see that, it's embarrassing. Uh, but I put my tail and I cut my tail just a little bit shorter than the other one. And then I am just going to put this in. But this you do not have to twist because it's the same on both sides. So I'm just putting in three loops on each end just like I did the first ribbon. When I get all my loops I want, I simply pull it up and then wrap up my pipe cleaner and then pull tight. You really want this tight so it's not slipping. You can put your two tails together and cut them at the same time. I just, I didn't. I mean, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. It just depends on what mood I'm in, I guess. I don't know. But now I'm going to take this and I am going to slip this underneath of the sign and then through the mesh and catch two of them on the top. Now I don't want it on the bottom one because my bow will sag. So I'm going to attach it to the top two and then all you have to do is work on pulling your loops and fluffing your bow. Now this bow I didn't want on top because I didn't want to cover up fall blessings. But I didn't realize making a bow this big was going to cover up my pumpkins down there, darn it. So I'm going to just tug and pull on this bow and fluffy duffy the thing up until I like it and can see most, at least most, of my little white pumpkins down there, okay? Now this looks good, but I have got to put it on this little stand I made to really fluff my bow out. And this is my end result. I Love it. I have never done a square wreath before in my life, so I didn't know how much mesh it took or anything else, but it worked out good. If you like this video, please leave me a thumbs up, consider subscribing to my channel, and leave a comment, because all the comments, likes, and shares, and all that stuff y'all do lets YouTube show my videos to more people, and I appreciate it. You are a blessing. Goodbye.